Get back on your crack. Got it. Hey guys, I have been in Japan for three weeks on personal vacation. It's at least six weeks since I've shot it daily. So a lot's happening in the workshop since we last did it. Anyway, today we're gonna talk to you guys about custom BMW. We're gonna talk to you about some new people that work at Revival. And I think we're gonna talk about a Ducati and Brandon's thighs. Stay tuned. Let's talk to Alec about what he is doing over here. Hey, what kind of Ducati is this? Hey guys. This is a, I couldn't even come up with something on the fly. You were just talking smack about how you're totally willing to do all the dailies. I didn't say I was willing to do all of them. See, yeah, that's how it goes. I all just, right. you know, you made it sound like- You didn't do any while I was gone, no did you? No one wants to be gone. I was gone too. Not that, I was gone three weeks. So I was gone 12 days. <laughs> I don't know how that works out. Anyway, was it fun? What were you doing? I was on tour. Tell, tell the boys and girls what you were touring for. I play music, <laughs> and okay. I was on tour with a band, one of the bands that I play in. What was the band? It's a band called And You'll Know Us by the Trail of Dead. If you don't know this band, you should be looking this band up. It was really kick-ass. Come on, don't downplay it. It's yes. a camera. And You Will Know Us by the Trail of the Dead. Bass player. Yeah. Alec Patron. Yeah. I heard it kick-ass, yeah. It's good. It's a good time. Where did you go? We went to, we flew into Toronto. Toronto. We did Toronto. We did Toronto. Toronto, as they say, <laughs> Toronto. Yeah. We did Toronto. Then we did Montreal, we did Quebec City, we went back to Toronto, we were there for two days, then we did Chicago, Detroit, Cleveland, then we came home. It was like 12 days, but it was only like six shows, seven. So it was an easy schedule for you? It was super easy schedule. Talk to me about this sweet motorcycle. This is a BMW R90 Flash 6 um, that we are making a mildish custom out of. Um, I'm a big fan of how it's coming along. I just, this engine is, the top end got rebuilt and uh, you know, made everything pretty and new. And I just put the engine in the frame. Once we get the front end sorted and uh, stanced, then I'm gonna start doing the wiring mock-up. Cause you gotta do that before you can tear it all down. So, uh, so uh, is the plan with this one, are we gonna ride it before we do all final finishes? I always like to. I'd like to do that. Uh, I think that's the my thing is, and this is just the way we do it, get everything together. Once everything is basically welded out and, and all that good stuff, then we ride it and the wiring's been done. We ride it, test ride it, road test it, make sure nothing breaks, make sure everything's fine, everything is functional, functioning okay. Some things need to be relocated, things need to be up to move before you break it all down for final finishing and powder coating or painting. And the reason why we do it that way is obviously we gotten bit in the past long ago. Yep. Um, where you know, you get it, you're like, oh it's gonna be fine, get it all back together, and sure as shit, something's wrong and you have to like sand the frame down to weld something else onto it and it's just it's no bueno. Alright, let's do that. Anyway. That's yeah. cool. So you reeled the top end of the motor. Mm -hmm. I can see we've got the Chirani replica. Yeah. These are replicas of the older style Chiranis, but they're fully adjustable. Um, a modern forks in a standard fork uh, package. Anyway, yeah. we sell these. I don't think they're even on our website, but if you guys want to buy them, we can get them for you. Billet cut, really, really nice. Nothing cooler looking than those things. Yeah, they're great. Um, Especially if you're going for that, you know, vintage kind of look, but still want a fully adjustable and, you know, modern uh, suspension. Modern suspension. Yeah. Where, where Do you know what shock, shocks we're going to use back there? Uh, I don't yet. I don't think we've really Something decided modern. yet. And then someone's built a custom exhaust. Who did this? Uh, Ty did. Ty did. Ty this. made this exhaust. It looks great. And then what other? We've got this this full custom rear. Yeah, the subframes all Subframe. new. Um, it's that, a two up. It's going to be for two people. I've yeah, seen this. Correct. Right? And uh, these these wheels obviously aren't. They didn't come stock on this model, but they're going to be on this one. These mags. Um, yeah. yeah, I think they're really cool, and they're going to be colored, you know, painted to match the rest of the bike, which I still I think we're still kind of sorting out like what color it's going to be and all that. And then here. We've got the motor gadget. Is that the? Yeah, that's the M unit blue. It's basically going to be covered under the seat, but the seat's going to be very easily detachable. That way, it makes you need to diagnose things or see what's going on. You've got lights not working or something. You can take the seat off and access that really easy. I hate I hate it when they're put in spots where you have to pull the tank off to get to it and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's nice to have that right there to where it's just a matter of popping Step that under. seat off. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. So and you got your. And all the rest of the wiring, all under uh, all the rest of the electrical electrical components. I can't talk. Coils. Add two Red Bulls. So oh I'm my like, God, yeah, really? I'm What's, feeling. What did you do? Stay up all night? 
I don't know, I didn't, but now I'm like oh, kind of cracked Red Bulls out. Would screw me up, yeah. Anywho, uh, all the electrical components fit nicely under the tank. Here, I'll show you. Ah. Oh, reg rack. Got the horn, the reg rack, and then the ignition's gonna be under here. There's gonna be a coil mounted right here. Double coil. Uh huh. No, it's actually, well, yeah, Two single. Singles but, are, mm -hmm. yeah. And, um, yeah. Not a new, nice new starter. Our revival cycle's bracket to hold to any gravity. Yep. Battery under the cover, which will be cool. Yeah, so you won't be able to see, you know, obviously the battery or any Typical of that BMW stuff. style. It's gonna be nice. Just a little more modern. Well, mm -hmm. dude, this is exciting. I, I'm, I've been gone, you guys are getting after it. Yeah, it's going well. I like this bike a lot. There's some finished welding needs to be done. What's yeah, this? It's, everything's kind of just in the mock-up stages. But... This is Ducati over here. Oh, the mm. 750? Mm. It's a round case Ducati, man. It's a, it's a thing of beauty. He's got the, the bevel drive exposed, on at least the rear cylinder. Yeah, check it out. Look at that. It reminds me of a pencil sharpener whenever I see them. Oh, yeah. It's totally a pencil <laughs> sharpener. Yeah, but this one was in here just for some love. Um, this client owns two bikes. Um, they were built by another bike builder, a friend Brian of ours Fuller. named Brian Fuller who's a really cool guy. But he's far away. He's far away. Really cool? Brian's not really cool. I like him. Really cool? He's pretty cool. He's always been really cool. Pretty too. cool is different than really cool. <laughs> it's just saying. I hope Brian gets to see this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, he built this bike and the Norton over there, and they now belong to a client which lives in Texas. So uh, we have the privilege of basically maintaining the fleet that he has. He's got these two, and he's also got a couple of Confederates. Um, That's right. Yeah. So they, they they come in like every couple of years, kind of for the same thing, you know, carb cleaning. He wants to ride them again. He wants to ride them again. Yeah. And so they're just when, here for some regular. I always stuff. know a Brian Fuller bike because it's always covered in stainless ARP head uh, hardware. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like everything is stainless everything is, ARP yeah. 12 point. Pretty cool. All right. So you don't have those. So you don't have those. Sockets. And I was wondering what year Brian built this because. Look at this Look old that school. old school LED, I know. It's like a homemade LED tail light. That's like to go with this tail section. Relic. And this glass. You get this glass uh, tail light off of an old hot rod. And he built into a fiberglass cowl. And then yeah, someone made this. Yeah, if you guys don't know who Brian Fuller is, he's a Google it. Google it. He's the man. Google, Google it. He's a hot rod. Hot dude. rods and bikes and all kinds of stuff. Alright. And he's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. It's not really cool. Just saying. real handsome. He's real handsome. He's real handsome. That's his thing. You want to talk about this thing? Yeah, we can talk about. There's that. another custom Ducati over here. You, I think we've actually shown this in a daily before. Just yeah, but wasn't done in was the it? process. No, it is finished now. Yeah, it's it a '99 Ducati Monster 750. Um, I love that bike. You know me. I don't like giant displacement bikes. I like something kind of chill. But it's super torquey, it's fun to ride, it's a Ducati. This was a model custom as well. The frame stayed the same, but put a different front end on it. Uh, you know, different bars, raised them up a little bit. So everything that you see on this bike, for the most part, that's anodized black or black or powder coated black, was anodized, like it had blue and gold I remember. and silver and, and red. red. Like yeah, yeah, every dude. anodized color that you could throw at this thing, ah, it was on there. So we got rid of all that and uh, powder coated everything matte black. Reanodized a lot of stuff, black. So more to monochromatic, absolutely matching colors. You got gold, yeah. gray, and black. That's Which it. Which makes mm. a world of difference. It looks it? so much more tasteful. Yeah, it you makes know. it makes more sense. Mm. We so did the seat made, too. Yeah, we made the seat. Dude, this seat looks so good. Yeah, it's awesome. Like Patrick's got it down. The seat looks like something that's been production made that they made a thousand of. Oh yeah, I know. It's, it's got good. memory foam. The seams are perfect. The, the the placement's perfect. I have nothing to do with this. It looks really good. Like it looks stock, you know. I like the twin pipes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, keep going. No, it's okay. I'm it's pointing out the stuff that I see on the bike. Yeah. That you know. And obviously, it got updated with uh, with all the Moto Gadget stuff. Got a Chrono Classic. Got Micro all the switches. Buttons. It's got an M unit on it now, so it's been updated electronically, electrically for electrically. sure. Oh, there's the key. Yeah. We got this little detail key. With the, it always reminds me of Harley when I see that. But. It always reminds me of like a locker. <laughs> a locker. It works. Everything's doing it. We've got bar and turn signals. Mm -hmm. Those are CRG mirrors. Yeah, those came, they, they came those with up. it. Yeah, yeah. one of those for sure. A little shorty. Yeah, we made a new headlight bracket. It's got a new headlight on it. LED. Yep, LED, everything. We sell this stuff too. Yeah, actually I mean, we everything. Can, you can, you can get pretty much everything. I don't even remember. I'm just experimenting. Look, there's another one. 
You hit the high beam and then the... I did. There it is. Yeah, all adjustable. Super cool. So it's all done now, and he, it's leaving on Saturday. We've done a lot of shakedown riding on it, which is the fun part. And um, basically ride the piss out of it and tighten things as they come loose and just make sure that everything's fine before we send it I like it home. the Sport Classic wheels on there. Yeah. To get spoke wheels, it's pretty common Ducati upgrade is to buy uh, wheels and tires off of a Sport Classic, which a lot of guys like to upgrade for some reason, even though they look amazing the way yeah. they are. Yeah. And they make an old bike that has mag wheels look really vintage because of the spokes. Yeah, and I really like the riding position of these. Typically, they're a little bit more aggressive, but I like it's got the a more nice over it wide, feel. Yeah. yeah wide bar with kickback, super comfy. Yeah. I like those, what are those rear sets? I don't, you know, I don't know what those are. He brought those in. I like them. Yeah, they're, they're like adjustable. fully adjustable. You yeah. can put them however you want. And look, yeah, the little bell. Little bell. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and it's got some, up, you know, the carb's been up, upgraded too. Well dude, I know this bike gave you some trouble and I'm glad that it's done. Yeah, it did. It was. You know, it's one of those things, and this is exactly why we do Shakedown. You know, got it running, and then the stator went out, right? And it wasn't charging, and then just one thing after another, and then uh, the crankcase filled with gas because, you know, the floats got stuck, and it didn't have the pet cock, so it was just it's one thing after another. But, in my opinion, it's not a problem unless it's already left the shop. So if everything happens while you're doing Shakedown, that's why you do it, and that's what you're supposed to do. So. Ultimately, it makes everyone happy, so that way whenever he gets his bike and he rides it forever, he doesn't have those kind of problems. Ideally, I like to make it as reliable as it would would, would be when it came from the factory. These are known reliable bikes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna leave you alone. Yeah, That's thanks. cool, dude. It's good All to right. see you again. Are you glad I'm back? I'm glad to be back. Are you glad I'm I back? I missed it. You, yeah, I, I didn't see, notice I was, you were gone. I know, I was gone. You left, then I left. Then I came back and you were still- I there. didn't go on tour. I was just in Japan. I didn't play like a crazy rock star yeah, for fun. 12 days. Anyway. Fun. I'm glad, I'm glad you got to go. All right, I'm gonna go try to talk to Ian, I believe. Thanks guys, sorry I'm all jittery. Thanks, get back on your crack. Got it. Let's go talk to Ian. So we got a new dude at Revival. Ian? Hey. Say hello. Hi. Hi, people. Hi. These people. Are the, these are the people, people. also? Oh. These are people. They're following More than one me. person? There, there's, I think there's two people that watch this. Wow. They just watch it a lot. I just let it go on repeat. Yeah. Man, did you start and build a whole new motorcycle? Nice work. Yeah, I mean. You've only been here like, what, six weeks? And you no, just, like six hours, six, really. Oh, six yeah. hours. What are you doing? Um, this trying is the Boy Ducati. Everybody knows this bike at this point. But, but you trying to what? I'm trying to put a rear axle in it. Get All everything right. fit up. Make sure there's proper clearances. This jacket is so nice. Yeah, yeah, there's some tight clearance issues there, but. Um, did you machine the axle? Is that what you're talking about? Or? Yeah, machine the axle. And then we drilled and tapped two holes on either side for M10 bolts and then put some, I made some end caps yep. out of stainless. I'm scratching them that are nicely. They still need to be buffed yeah, out too. So. Right. They look cool though. A little finish time on it. To go inside the, essentially, it'll go inside that inset. Yeah. Slide back and forth. Just for slide back and forth. That's cool. Yeah. What else? That's it? That's uh, what you're working on? Yeah, pretty much. This thing's getting really close to done. We're, I think it's ready to go out for final paint in the next couple days, actually. It's only been two or three years. I'm gonna, I was telling someone today, it's gonna be really hard to, to explain why this bike is so special. I think people are gonna see it, they're gonna think it's pretty, but they don't really understand why yeah. there's so many pieces of this that are intricately of, designed. A lot of detail. A lot sure. of detail, a lot of detail. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Well, you're, you're having fun? I mean, you yeah. tell us about yourself, Ian, tell everybody. Here, I'm fabricating, I'm machining, I'm learning how to do CNC, which is daunting, but awesome. CNC uh, machining already? Yeah. What's that? My little drafting Pulpit? table. Is, are you an um, yeah, yeah. amateur? I preach to the wall. Oh, I like yeah. that. Like, it's your drawing table? Yep. I, I didn't know you had a drawing table. Yeah. That's cool. Did you make this? Yep. It looks like it's probably strong enough to hold my car. It is pretty strong. Right. Yeah. You press really hard with your pencil. Is yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. It's totally. Somehow the wood's okay though, the top. The wood's fine. Yeah, you can yeah. see it. <laughs> it's cheap uh, plywood from Home Depot. Mahogany. Uh, OSB. Cheap mahogany. <laughs> Dude, it's adjustable too? It will be, yeah. 
Will be. Well, it looks adjustable now. I just have clamps on it now, but there's, I got a piece oh, that swings back and forth and there's a clamp. I can't wait for you to make me one. I'm excited. This took, oh yeah, speaking of, this probably took a year and a half too, so. Wait, really? You didn't just build this since you started? No, yeah, it's been a long time coming. But okay, I believe you. Sounds good. All right, I'm leaving you alone. All Thanks right. for playing. Yeah. Good luck with the with the axle. We'll come back and see you in a bit. Thank you. Bye, people. All right. Bye, bye. This everybody knows is the birdcage. I think the last time I did a daily was before this was even done. So it's been a while. Anyway, uh, this bike's leaving to go on its world tour. I think tomorrow, or it'll be gone tomorrow and then come back. And then I finally get time with the boys to wire this thing up and ride it. We're gonna we're gonna make it run. I love that people think it doesn't run. I think it was built to just be sculpture. That makes it about a thousand times cooler that we're gonna ride it. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell us what you wanna see. Sorry it's been so long. We'll try to be a little consistent about uh, getting some dailies out for you guys. We're still working on some how-to videos. We're gonna try to make that happen. We've hired some, some cool guys. We're gonna get it done. Talk to you soon.